the game, just what when, what did you see on that that made it a little bit easier for you to put the ball away? No, I mean, they were uh, just trying to get the switch, and then, I mean, it's the name of the game, so you try to get the switch, and they were trying to search me out, and I seen uh, Seth, what he's trying to do, and um, I mean, that's what I would do. I'd try to get the switch and spin, and just try to get the mismatch, and I just timed it, timed it perfectly. Was the finger wag uh, uh, some little trash talk between you guys, or was that just something you wanted to put on display? No, I was just telling them not to do that again. Just, that's what it was. But at the end of the game, so it was good. <laughs> uh, Trey, for you, you got going specifically in the third quarter, 11 of your points. Um, did you see something specific from them in that third quarter? Uh, I mean, no, I mean, we were all scoring. I mean, JC started the game out for us and almost getting 20 points in the first quarter. Um, I mean, so whenever guys are knocking down shots and, and making plays, it just opens the floor that much more. So, um, like you said, the third quarter, I was able to get, get more shots going, but I had six, seven assists in the first quarter because everybody was knocking down shots and making plays. So it just opens up everything else when everybody's making plays. John, I was going to ask you about that earlier in the game. We've seen you working with Kyle over the past couple of days. I'm curious what he's kind of giving you as advice to, to maybe help loosen up a little bit. <laughs> you no, know, yeah, I call him the Zen Master for a reason. You know, um, just enjoy working with him. Uh, really just talking about my placement and placement on the ball, a lot of mental tips and just things that, you know, I can go to mentally to uh, lock in when I'm ready to shoot. And uh, I feel like it's paying off. You know, continue to work with Kyle uh, as we can. You know, he has a big job. But uh, I try, we try when we can. Trey, talk about that fourth quarter, how you guys came out of the stretch and finished strong and was able to close it out. Yeah, I mean, it's important. We got to close out these games late in, late in the season. It's, it's that time, it's that final stretch. So we just got to figure out, I mean, it's on me and DJ also to get everybody in our, the right spots and, I mean, set up the, the right play for us to end the game. And um, it's that time of the season to, to start clicking. And obviously, Quinn's trying to add new things throughout this, this final stretch. And, um, we're still learning new things, um, but I think we're, we're doing pretty good at it, and we just got to keep, keep, keep going. I wanted to ask John about uh, your warm-up. Usually right there, Trey bounces you in the hoop for, you know, whatever, 6 o'clock. Uh, didn't seem like you were in the same sort of routine. Did you, did you change something up, and, did, you know, given the start you had tonight, did, did you like that change? Yeah, it was, it's actually funny you mentioned it. Lob with Trey is actually came to the locker room and told him, you know, uh, wasn't going to be out there today, but nothing, nothing big. Just changed up my routine just a little bit. Um, you know, I'm not a, I try not to be a superstitious guy, but uh, we'll see if it works again the second time. But if not, then I'll go back to the you know, normal schedule. But, uh, uh, yeah. Trey, what do you think about Thank you.